Hello, I hope everyone is good, fine and all well. So today the topic that is, is uh, lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis and the question today is about uh, lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis but first of all before going through the question we'll be studying about it. So it is basically a syndrome of fever, cough and dyspnea. And along with that, there is bipedular pulmonary infiltrates of dense interstitial accumulation of lymphocytes and plasma cells. And they are infiltrates that can be as seen in the, uh, in the diagram in the x-ray that they are bipedular in the basis of the lungs, pulmonary infiltrates of dense interstitial accumulation of what? Of lymphocytes and plasma cells. And the lymphocytes and the plasma cells together accumulate and form infiltrates uh, in the base of the both the lungs. Now, sometimes there is also nodular formation of polyclonal lymphocytes that is also sometimes seen and that then distorts the lung architecture. Now, LIP that occurs in association autoimmune disease or infection with EBV or HIV or the children who vertically acquire HIV about 20 to 40 percent of those children they have LIP and then that presents in the second or the third year of life just remember the line the second or the third year of life and this is then basically AIDS defining diagnosis in children. Now, what will be the presentation it is basically insidious in onset slowly and gradually but harmfully and what will be the early symptoms? The baby or the child that will present with cough and dyspnea and then long standing symptoms will be clubbing of the fingers and bronchiectasis and on physical examination you will find out hepatosplenomegaly, generalized lymphadenopathy and parotid enlargement and acute deterioration occurs when there is a viral and bacterial superinfection. So here is a baby with L um, LIP who has now developed parotid enlargement or maybe um, some, uh, some generalized lymphadenopathy or hepatosplenomegaly but the picture shows parotid enlargement. Now what is a differential diagnosis? Differential diagnosis is everything that forms interstitial infiltrates in the lungs that can be TB, that can be CMV infection or nemesis cerevisiae. How do we diagnose it? First of all on x-ray they are bipedicillar interstitial infiltrates or micronodular infiltrates and they are hyalur or mediastinal enlargement. Why is there hyalur or mediastinal enlargement? Due to the pulmonary lymphoid hyperplasia. And sometimes the lung biopsy is also required. So what will be the treatment? The treatment includes corticosteroids for HIV positive patients at a high dose for 4 to 12 weeks. And then they are gradually tapered off to the most lowest maintenance dose. Antibiotics if there is some super infection, oxygen for hypoxia, bronchodilators for wheezing and sometimes cedrovidine alone has shown some improvement. What is the prognosis? So clinical course is variable. Symptoms can be stable for many months and show spontaneous improvement. But often recurrent infection or for a recurrent can may occasionally lead to fibrosis, bronchiectasis and malignant malformation. So let's come back to the question. I hope you all have understood LIP. So LIP is basically a syndrome of fever cough dyspnea along with bipedicillar um, infiltrate, interstitial infiltration and sometimes there is a nodular infiltrate that is due to the polyclonal lymphocytes and, uh, and that can be uh, distorting and it occurs in children who have acquired HIV 20 to 40 percent of them and then that big symptoms become evident in second to third year of life. In presentation that will be insidious. Early symptoms will be cough and dyspnea and if it's long, the long symptoms include the clubbing and bronchiectasis. And the physical signs will be hepatosplenomegaly, generalized lymphadenopathy and parotid enlargement. Here yeah, we can see the parotid enlargement. Differential diagnosis includes the TB, the CMV infection, nemesis cerevisiae. Diagnosis includes chest x-ray and lung biopsy. And chest x-ray will show a bivasilar interstitial infiltrates or micronodular infiltrates or hydromediastin enlargement. And treatment include corticosteroids, antibiotics, oxygen, bronchodilators, and zidovidine, including the combination of heart drugs also. Now let's back to, come back to the question that is lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis. Which, which of the following is correct? 
Now first, it has an insidious onset in most cases. Yes, it has an insidious rolling gradually appears. It usually appears in the first year of life. No, it appears in the second to third year of life. Has a mortality of more than 50%? No. Due to numerous surgery suicide? No. It is autoimmune and due to uh, HIV and EBV. Response to oral steroids? Yes. Hydro steroids for 4 to 12 weeks and then taper, then off. I hope you understood. Um, this was the question.